Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today I'm going to be answering one of the most common questions I get. How to fix buffering on Roku TVs and Roku streaming players. Hey, I'm watching my favorite show and it suddenly stops and buffers. Well, there's a few quick fixes you can do. Because it may not actually be the streaming service. It may be something that is happening on your end. Either the streaming player or your Wi-Fi network. We're going to show you how to fix the common issues right here real quick. First though, if you like what we do here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We're hitting that thumbs up. We try to help you break free from the high cost of TV, but still help you watch the shows you enjoy. All right, let's dive into it. Now I'm showing this on a Roku. I got similar videos on other streaming players and I'll do some more in the future. But this is all tips that can work for Roku players and Roku TVs with it. Number one is your Wi-Fi network. Yes, your Wi-Fi network is the number one culprit behind buffering. Weak Wi-Fi in particular. Now you may have fast internet, but if the Wi-Fi signal from your router to your TV is weak and you only get like one or two bars on it, that means it's not able to give you as much speed. The weaker the Wi-Fi signal, the slower it is, causing buffering. Now there's a few things you can do. Move your Wi-Fi router closer or your TV closer, one or the other. You can also look at something like a mesh network, like a Google Nest, a oh, so many out there. Eero from Amazon, all these mesh Wi-Fi networks where you have one main hub and you put some like different um, systems around your home. So there's a strong Wi-Fi signal throughout your home. I use a mesh system and I'm very pleased with it. You may want to think about getting a mesh system so that all your TVs have the strongest Wi-Fi. And that's why you may say I often get messages like, hey, my bedroom and living room get great streaming, but the basement TV or the TV in the garage or something buffers all the time. Maybe because that TV is in a weak Wi-Fi area. Number two, still with your Wi-Fi. When's the last time you unplugged it and gave it a little rest and restarted it? You probably heard this, right? Hey, your computer acting a little weird? Restart it. Is your phone acting a little weird? Restart it. That applies for your Wi-Fi network too. Every month or so, you really should consider unplugging it for about 30 seconds, plug it back in. Not just your Wi-Fi router, but if your modem is separate, do both at the same time. Give it a moment to kind of refresh. It allows it to kind of clear out the cache, clear out the cobwebs, get back working. But hey, there could actually be something wrong with your Roku. I would all recommend you go check out in your settings and go up to your system and then go to your advanced, I think it's advanced system settings. Um, nope. Here we go, software update. Let's do that again. Because So settings, systems, software update right here with it and you can go in there and you can select it and you can do a check wi-fi or update and check for current updates see if i got anything oh look i got some apps that need to be updated right there i update this all the time now roku will automatically at some point in the middle of the night update the apps but it may be that your app has a problem we saw that recently with a major streaming um app out there they had a glitch in an update that made it not work well when you updated the app it was fixed now you could had two options you could either manually update it or you just wait now that's not always the fix but it's definitely something you should check and then the last thing you could do that 90 percent time fixes the problems when's the last time you restarted your roku or your roku tv now, if you have a Roku player, Roku stick, just literally unplug the thing from the wall, wait about 30 seconds, plug it back in to reboot it. But you can actually go into your Roku settings under system here. And then you go in and you go down to power. And in here is actually a system restart. Now this is important because when you turn off a Roku TV, it doesn't actually fully shut off. It keeps a little bit of power running actually keeps the system and that way that it quickly boots back up. You don't have to wait for the whole Roku and boot up every time you turn on and off your TV. That's great, but like phones, like computers, sometimes it's very good for you to completely shut off your TV and reboot it or your streaming player. So keep that in mind. Sadly, if all three of those don't work, it could legitimately be a problem. Your streaming service, maybe your internet. When's the last time you ran a speed test on your Wi-Fi network? Just Google speed test and it'll give you options to do that right there. Are you actually getting the speed of internet you're paid for? Streaming doesn't take a ton of speed. You don't need a gig 
internet to be able to flawlessly stream Netflix. Doesn't hurt to have it, but two to 300 down if all you're doing is streaming one Netflix stream, you only need 25 to 30 down for a single 4K stream with that. So keep that in mind. But are you getting what you pay for is always the big question. But there you go. Weak Wi-Fi. Make sure the Wi-Fi signal where your TV is is strong is the number one issue. You may want to think about moving your Wi-Fi router or buying a mesh network so you can have it linked there. Restarting your Wi-Fi network is a common problem that often fixes. It clears out the connections, everything reattaches to the Wi-Fi, and often helps improve performance. Re or I should say first updating your Roku player or Roku TV. In your settings, go to system and check out for an update. Could be that there's an issue with the app you're using and an update may fix it. Also, when's the last time you did a full restart for your TV or Roku? Not just hit the power button, but either go into the system on a Roku TV and doing a full reset or restart, I should say, not reset, don't, don't wipe it, but restart it. Or literally unplugging it from the wall, waiting about 30 seconds and plugging it back in. You know, like I said, Roku's always try to stay connected with that. Unfortunately, there's no perfect fix for buffering. Sometimes it may continue. If it does, you may want to make sure you're actually getting the speed you're paying for. Are you paying for two, three hundred down, but only getting twenty? I once, when I lived in Texas, had that. I was like, man, I'm paying for a gig because I always want the upload for what I do, uploading a lot of videos. I want a hot, fast upload. If I was only getting like twenty or thirty down and barely anything up. And Spectrum came out, and what they found was the line that ran from the street to my house was damaged. They replaced it, and suddenly I had great internet. Another time, I, wi -Fi, my internet kept dropping. I had to unplug it, replug it. The modem had gone bad. Even though I had it plugged into a surge protector, it could have been a power surge that damaged it. also could have just been a bad modem over time. So if you are experiencing and you've done these steps first, it could still be your internet provider. But chances are, 90% of the time when I help people fix their buffering issues, it's the Wi-Fi. It's weak Wi-Fi signal. It's a Wi-Fi router that needed to be restarted or up or with that, or a TV that needed to be rebooted. So keep that in mind. Well, there you go. There is the top fixes. Do you have a fix for poor Wi-Fi that I didn't cover that were buffering? Leave me a comment. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. Maybe you can help some other people. Hopefully we helped you though. If we did, please consider hitting that subscribe button or hitting that thumbs up. Do one or both really does help us because then YouTube knows to recommend these videos to more people helping us grow. Hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. That's our goal here. We post videos every single day covering news and more with tips, tricks, and more just like this one right here. Until next time, take care, be safe. I'll talk to you all again real soon.